TG, what's the most autistic stuff you've ever had to deal with from a player or GM? Personally, I've only ever encountered one. Be me, first time GM. Local game store has biannual game night where players come to find groups. Me and some friends gather a group, pull out the Pathfinder one shot I had tucked away. Everyone begins making characters when we're approached by some spurg lord wearing a cape. <laughs> oh. And this ridiculous. <laughs> What's this thing with I capes don't know. Like, Why are people walking about with capes now? And this ridiculous feathered adorned hat. Oh, oh god. Say nothing, he'll go away. <laughs> he does not. Spurglord shuffles around our table looking over everyone's shoulders. Never seen anybody so thin. Swear I can hear his bones creaking as he walks. <laughs> Finally stops, turns around, and dramatically flings his cape. Whips off his gay hat and bows. Thinks he's going to break in half. Loudly introduces himself as Sir Joshua Steve Dor Birmingham the Third. Is that his character name? I or is it him? I really hope that's his character name. Tells us we are not playing right. Insists that I let him join so he can show us his full potential. <laughs> Hesitate, but I don't want to be rude and reluctantly let him join. No, no. See if a guy comes up and says, "Oh, you're playing wrong. Let me show you how." You turn around and be like, "Look, mate, how about this?" Not even that. You fuck yourself. Not even that. See if a guy rocks up with a cape. (laughs) (laughs) Say, "No, not the night, lad." (laughs) (laughs) No, mate, not the night. Yeah, something like that. Rolls up a fucking monk. Tells us his monk is a martial arts master who is beyond our comprehension. Names his character Joshua and tries to go into detail about how much women want to be on his dick. <laughs> Stop that shit in its tracks. Begin play. 30 minutes into game comes the first major encounter against a band of orc mercenaries. Joshua's turn. Begins a monologue that I swear lasted 3 minutes. Mentally check out until I hear him breathe the name Jojo. Is he actually hard? <sighs> right, okay. He informs me that. Wait, is that Jojo's. Like With name? I, Joshua Steve Dorp Birmingham the third? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I'll watch like, yeah. <laughs> He informs me that his next attack will be a flurry of blows. Before I can even say a word, he stands up from his chair and begins rapidly swinging his fists <laughs> in the air. <laughs> oh, what? What does this say? <laughs> Hear his joints pop with every motion. Suddenly his arm hyperextends and does not go back. Crunch.mp4 falls on the ground and an ambulance is called. Everyone is disconcerted for the rest of the night. My face when store closes early. TLDR pencil thin Jojo Tard ruins the game and entire event. <laughs> I mean, like, like I'm going to put that on the list of shit that just didn't happen. Yeah. But I wanted to have happened. I wanted to have happened. Like, you know, I'm completely okay with this idea, this concept. See if you ever meet someone wearing a cape. Just don't just in, walk don't, away. Just walk, walk away. the opposite direction. Yeah, and like you know, <laughs> see this whole like. Oh, maybe if we just don't interact with them, they'll go away. They don't get it. No, they don't they, get they it. They don't they get it. You. you need to. You need to be like, look, mate. Fuck off. How does <laughs> yeah. it, or you know, do that meme. I'm gonna give you a hundred dollars to fuck off. <laughs> yeah. Gets invited to a Discord D and D game with friends. DM tells me it's set in a post-apocalyptic Britain. Other players tell me about how cool his sessions are. Join at eight o'clock. Hyped for his awesome DM skills. Turns out there are nine members of the party, me included. It's quite big. Yeah, I don't. I know some people don't mind big groups, but no, you spend too much time just sitting there, know. waiting for Especially other people. Especially if you're in combat. Yeah, oh. I, can, I can be arse for that. Everybody talks over each other, squabbling about the rules. Shitty connection doesn't help. Yeah. We drive a wagon into a trench where it gets stuck in the mud. I tell them I can use Earth Shape as a monk to unstick it, but everyone straight up ignores me, preferring to trap themselves in circular arguments. Why? They eventually, I don't know. They eventually travel deeper into the trench where they find a bunker. Keep in mind they had been arguing about the wagon for half an hour. They find three separate rooms in the dungeon. There are no monsters, no traps, no nothing. We find tank shells, shotguns, and a tank in the last room. In any other session this would have lasted three minutes at most, but the rest of the party decides to bicker over them. I don't get this. Why do people... I don't know. Most disturbingly, one of the PCs plays as a dwarf, and another, who is a girl, plays as an LOL so quirky goblin. <laughs> I, look, I'm not LOL totally random. No, I'm not, Megan. I'll have you know I'm not that type. No. Okay. 
They have this sort of pseudo incestuous adoptive father daughter relationship which pervades their every word and action. I can hardly bear it. The incel dwarf player finds every opportunity being as possessive to the goblin as possible. With severe paedophilic overtones. Oh, it's nauseating. It also doesn't help that he learned everything about dating and relationships from corny teen dramas. <laughs> oh, and isn't afraid to show it in game. In real life, that player's two steps away from being Russell Gear. <laughs> There's this tiefling player. He is as much of a narcissistic, snarky cunt in real life as much as he is in game. The better part of an hour are spent on this obnoxious love triangle. It's so vapid, I would have learned more from watching paint dry. For some arcane reason, being smothering overprotective towards said ooh ooh quirky goblin girl is what passes for comedy among these fuckwits. By 10 o'clock, they finally discover the lever that opens up the ceiling and raises the tank to the surface. Right around here, I couldn't give a fuck. Moral of the story, don't play D&D 5th edition on Discord. <laughs> pick related. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, yeah. Although yeah. he didn't put in pick related. He didn't put pick related. Yeah, he didn't put in pick related. Where is his pick related? I don't know. Oh, here it is here. I'll throw it up on the screen. Hey guys, do you like models in your tabletop role-playing games? Because we do too. Do you like having big bitty waifus on your table? Because we do too. <laughs> <laughs> We got human biddies, we got lizard biddies, we got orc biddies, oni biddies, cat bussies. We've got everything you want at neckbeardia.co.uk. <laughs> Check the links down below, it helps us out a lot. Sorry for interrupting the video, let's get on the story. A close friend tells me that he's planning on making a Vampire the Masquerade Dark Age campaign on the Discord server that we're in. Oh, fuck. Why is, why is Vampire the Masquerade? It never it, goes well. I've, I've yet to hear a good story. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure same. it's a great system. I do, like, you know, like, don't get me wrong. I do think vampires can be cool, but they've been cringe for yeah. a while now. And, and any time I hear Vampire the Masquerade, I'm like, oh, oh shit, here well, we go again. <laughs> yeah. Because he doesn't have so much time, he thinks I'm making a play-by-text game. It's great. The game is located in Europe. A sandbox where we start by being called by a vet. Oh, yeah, Venture. the title. Yeah, Venture. Yeah, they've got all different titles. Oh, right. Yeah. Uh, by being called by Venture to a small and not important at all village. I make for the first time a <laughs> Cappadocian. That does not sound like anywhere in Europe. That is straight up South American. No, that's a... What? A... a a race, I Oh, think. right, okay. And every other player that starts to post their PCs. Nothing important. Until. Name. Blank. Clan. Gangrel. Apparent age. <laughs> twelve years old. Here we go. Why is it always a vampire? And why are they always twelve? Stop reading right there. Take a deep breath and look a little bit down to the pick he chose for his PC. It's really a child with a sword two times bigger than him. A red cape and some cheap iron armour. It was like a stock image for a child <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Sigh. Keep reading his description and the little history he posted. Apparently, he and two other players have a group. One being an annoying motherfucker in the server with his head so much up his ass, the kind of idiot that you don't think like him or like the things that he doesn't like that you're a retard that doesn't know best. Is that not everyone on Discord? I, uh, I, I thought that was a point of Discord. I thought it was like, look, if you don't think the same of me... He worded it. that really fucking yeah. weird. But yeah, no, yeah, that's, I, that's, I know a lot of guys like that. Yeah, it's just Discord. And also, he's an admin on DM. Oh, great. great. The other player is a guy that joined recently. A chill guy and really nice. And I can only question why he joined them. Wait, why are you there? Yeah, well, why, yeah what <laughs> why are you, are you there then? Yeah, you're, like if you already know it's going to be bad, <laughs> just, just get the fuck out. The admin slash DM made me a slave trader. Opian addict vent ventry. The new guy made a whore tor torador. I uh, fuck it. That was some kind of lover, and also the ventry was super possessive. And the kid apparently was his bodyguard for so many years. Okay. I mean, like, look, like, I. 
maybe a bodyguard because like you know that like, no one really expects it you know it can be like you're almost like going undercover mm. you know but like you know whenever oh yeah no they're 400 years old but they look like the, tw- the 12. 12 it's no. always about sex it's always about sex it never it has to be about it, sex. it's, it, it's it, always about it, sex it, it, like come on just keep doing this let's just get this one done i feel defeated already. i know i thought that i shouldn't think bad about the guy that made the kid pc and give him a chance only for late, only for later discover this guy's not native English. Oh. Only for later discover he was an edgy little fuck. The Ventry that invited all of the players to the village had the plan of killing werewolves that were in those villages that were property of the vampires, killing and such. And one of his friends kidnapped a young girl that was important to them. Right, okay, I wonder what's going to happen to the. Oh, oh no, no, we kidnapped this girl. What, oh, no. oh, what possibly could happen? <laughs> no! <Nani? laughs> we planned on using the girl to lure the werewolves to some Celtic ruins and killing them with silver swords. But the kid, the Torador whore, and some other PCs that were tasked to take care of the soon to be werewolf girl decided to go to some house and use a discipline or something to ask to ghost and spirits some shit i'm re- look guys i'm reading this like the way you wrote <laughs> yeah, it yeah, you decipher yeah, it <laughs> yeah because of bad roles i think some spirit that worked for the werewolves almost kills one pc and goes to tell the werewolves where they were instead of running to the ruins those retards decided to stay in the village talking shit for like irl whole day and so the werewolves got to the village me and the other PCs were already in the ruins, waiting for the team of retarded retards to come. <laughs> I mean, like, I, I, I don't know about you. I'm just like, like, okay, just leave them back. Yeah. Like, let's just keep going. Only but- to see at the distant bright lights of the fire and screams while there was a storm approaching. We finally came to the village. Everyone died except the Torah whore that got in Torpor. <laughs> what the? fuck is this we're leading <laughs> what like, am t- i reading the tour whore that got in torpor <laughs> like, like we're sorry what guys we're, we're, we're too deep into this post i'm too invested i'm not, go- I'm not gonna stop uh, now we're, guys we're, like, we're, normally we'd cut something like this but let's just keep going at this point fight scene <laughs> what the fuck does that even say <laughs> the test me and the the tism, the tism ice the oh tism ice Tim Ice. Tim Ice. And the bra. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is this? The first having shitty stats for combat and relying, and the other being par gaming. Killing all the werewolves, and I killed the new werewolf girl from earlier. Fast forward the next day, IRL. I see there a new message in the PC section. It's he again. It's he again. <laughs> Where is this guy from? <laughs> <laughs> you know, this is a lot funnier if you put on like an Eastern European accent. <laughs> no, I'm not going to do that. Or like, you know, if you imagine like he's German or something, maybe. <laughs> it, it's he again, making another fucking kid. This time, an even more edgy La Sombra. We were in a catacomb, the Tismice, the Bra and I, taking care of the tore a whore for a moment <laughs> there's this cat in the hat what the fuck is this <laughs> this cat in the hat what the fuck Mama is this thinking what to do next to her if I was alone I would a hundred percent make diablerie <laughs> what the fuck diablerie <laughs> like, sorry guys we're, t- we're in too deep we're, we're gonna finish this if any of you guys want to skip like a minute into the future that's fine just I don't think skip I don't yeah, just, just, just skip on we're gonna keep we're gonna keep going through this <laughs> but in general we were good guys for some reason the fucking retard that made the La Zombra kid decided to come to our group he is hiding in the shadows apparently having three dots in <laughs> all ten embryation <laughs> Or even more. Like, you, know okay. I, you know what I feel like? Wow. Remember when the internet historian read that fucking vampire uh, yes. fan thing? Oh, yeah. The, the, Harry like. oh, the Harry Potter vampire. Harry Potter. Yeah, one. that was a great one, so it was. He starts to insult each one of us without provoke Kim. <laughs> <laughs> I think we worked it. Okay, he was going about the other players, and then we asked, "Well, what are you doing here?" I think we worked out why, why, <laughs> why he's <laughs> here. <laughs> <laughs> what? 
Once he shows up his necks to the Thor whore, getting up while she has something red in her lips. Obviously, he's trying to enslave her. <laughs> we just couldn't. <laughs> we Why just... is this so shit? <laughs> I don't know. Why is this so shit? I'm crying. <laughs> I don't know where the fucking cringe is supposed to be. Is it this guy telling the story? I don't know. I don't even know who any of these characters are. Oh, Jesus. I, I, I just know they're playing like some vampire <laughs> game and there was werewolves and one oh. of them was 12 and that's it. I have no idea what the fuck happened. We just go to kill him because he doesn't stop on mocking us. The next eight days are full of passive aggressive bitch comments from him and two other retarded players. Take a whole IRL day to only post a message in the chat, but he just complains every day in the DMs of our storyteller. Finally, we kill him and doesn't shows up again. More passive aggressive comments and we feel more peace. Our storyteller told the bra, another friend of us, and I, the, the Lazenfag, asked if he could rape the werewolf girl when he have his gangrel PC asking if he could make a vampire werewolf breed as his soldiers and other things like that. And apparently his PC also felt in love with the werewolf girl. We later talked and the DM said that maybe the Lassen Fag was a kid or something thanks to his incredible levels of retardation. But that's a questioning that's going to stay without an answer. <laughs> what the f- fuck was this Megan <laughs> you know the worst because it started off like kind of sounding promising but then like we like got, we got f- too far in the I wasn't going to stop <laughs> if anybody can translate that translate it because I have no fucking idea what happened <laughs> like guys that's the end of the video I'm going to just call it there well yeah we'll, yeah I, 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 I don't know I don't I <laughs> Fuck me. Turned into a fucking shit show. Yeah. Um, yeah, if any of you guys actually stayed for the entire video. Well done. Well done. I have no idea how you did that. Um, if it was me, I would have just... Clicked cru- off. Cru- Closed the tab. Unsubscribed. <laughs> gone for the fucking hills. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Like, okay, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, Honestly, check like, out the links, like, guys. Check out the links. I don't have any words for this. Don't that unsubscribe. My, hit my, subscribe. my head hurts after that. Hit yeah. subscribe. Hit the notification bell. And we'll see you in the next video, yeah. 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 <laughs> Bye. <laughs>